And here we go. M. Claire. M. Claire Financial. Uh, sounds like sounds like another bank, another local bank. Am I correct in that assessment? Operates as the bank holding company for the Farmers National Bank of Emlinton. Services to individuals and businesses in Western Pennsylvania. In they have 20 branch offices in these fine counties in Pennsylvania. Don't know much about Pennsylvania. Uh, sounds like it would be an Amish bank almost. Uh, Farmers National Bank, or I mean, I guess they serve farmers. I don't know. So one thing I'm noticing is that these these earnings are not in line with what you see from other bank companies. These are not great. You usually see earnings from other bank companies be have have fantastic profit margins and revenues go up all the time. These guys profit margins are relatively thin and revenues are a little shaky especially now. Well, no. Well, they were going up prior to 2020. We all know what happened in 2020 and I would be, I would be more than happy to say that 2020 revenues being lower is due to COVID. However, if you look at the quarterly chart that's I don't think that's the case. I think it would have been lower regardless because it's still it's it's still not great. These last two quarters have been lower since quarter four, not by much, but still lower. Past our checks? What checks? What the hell are you talking about? Simpleton Wall Street. Regular readers will know that we love our dividends at Simply Wall Street, which is why we decided to see M. Claire Financial Group is about to trade X dividend in the next four days. Company's upcoming dividend is 30 cents per share. Um, it did, it did, it's not a bad dividend. Based on the last year's worth of payments. Uh... I mean, if, if dividends is all you got that you can talk about this company, that's not really that's not really much. Worth buying for its dividend. It's been growing its earnings per share somewhat recently. No, that's... No, it hasn't. I can see right here. Earnings are languishing. Revenues are languishing. Unless the chart doesn't align with the actuality, which is not unusual to see in, in Yahoo for some reason. Um, reported consolidated net income uh, for three months and an increase of uh, net income of, uh, available to stockholders of 1.8. That's earnings. Yeah, that's roughly in line with what I'm seeing here. This says, this says, this says 1.93. This says 1.8. Um, it's it, it's it's close enough to say that they are that, that they are in tune. They are in sync. Wow! S Simply Wall Street is pushing this one hard. M. Claire looks like a good stock. Uh, don't race out to buy M. Claire just just because of it, just because it's going ex dividend. No, here's some other reasons why you should buy it because we're in it. We're we're dumb. Um. Yeah, nah. Also, price hasn't gone much of anywhere in the last five years. I think people are just holding on to this for for for, for the dividend. Which I mean, yeah, sure, that's a strategy. That's something you can do if you like sitting there and digesting dividends. That's you know that, that's fine. That is some kind of investment strategy. Uh, the bank didn't raise their dividend. Bank seems to be doing very well. I wonder why. You think so? I disagree. I mean, acquire or taking out for for forty dollars per share. I mean, that's no. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know why anybody would, anybody would want that though. Uh, what about holders? Let me see holders. Do we have insiders? 
Wow, more insiders and institutions. Huh. That's interesting. Stock award. Purchase in May. Purchase in May. Okay, that's interesting. I... Mm, I'm not terribly enthused by it. Honestly, I kind of want to give it a sell. I kind of want to give it a sell. But... I did see they had insider purchases fairly recently. There, there was one guy that seemed to think it was a good company in the conversation section. I somewhat disagree. But I'm kind of leaning out of sell and into hold because I would like to give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's just in a rut. Maybe it's just in a rut with those earnings. And it does have dividends. It does have dividends, and regardless of what the company does, price doesn't seem to go anywhere. So, you know, if you own these and you're sitting on those dividends and you want to consider, continue to sit on those dividends, like, that's fine. That's fine. You can do that. Um, that would be a hold for you, then. And uh, and you know what? I think it would be a hold for me for, for, for all the above reasons. It doesn't it doesn't make me terribly enthused, but it's not it's not terrible, and it's a perfectly good stock to sit there or sit there and sit there and eat dividends on. So... Um, M, uh, not M, uh, hold for these guys. 